Good day everyone, welcome to our first official class. And for our first topic, we will be talking about others are afraid of and others are loving it, and that is credit card. Today, we will be talking what credit card is, things to remember when using it, how credit card works, and its pros and cons. And now, what is a credit card? So a credit card is a thin rectangular plastic card issued by financial institutions, mainly banks, which lets you borrow funds from a pre-approved limit to pay for your purchases. So the limit is decided by the institution issuing the card based on your credit score and history. So these are the main parts of your credit card. So we have here this microchip, your 16-digit number, your cardholder's name, and the expiration date. And at the back of your credit card, you will see a black stripe called the magnetic strip, your signature, and at the time that you receive your credit card, you are required to automatically sign your credit card, and most importantly is your CVV or the card verification value. It serves as your personal identification number or your password for your credit card. And the number one rule is never ever share your CVV number. There are things to remember or terms that you need to remember when using a credit card. First is credit limit. So credit limit is the maximum amount of money a lender will allow a consumer to spend using a credit card or a revolving line of credit. So each credit card has a different credit limit, usually depending on your income level and previous credit card history. We also have the cutoff date. Cutoff refers to the end of your billing cycle. This is the time when all your credit card activities are generated for the month and will be reflected on your billing statement. The cutoff date is essential to understand because it is when you stop making purchases with the card. Due date. Your credit card payment due date is generally about 21 to 25 days after your billing cycle ends. That is the time you need to pay your credit card bill. The time between your billing cycle end date and your billing due date is known as the grace period. So the 21 to 25 days is your grace period. Minimum amount due. So the minimum amount due is the lowest amount of money that you should pay each month. So it's important to know that interest will be charged for your remaining card balance. Always pay your balance in full. And please don't just settle for the minimum amount due. We also have the annual fee. Annual fee is like the service charge for the use of your credit card. Depending on your credit card company, the annual fee can range from 1,200 to 5,000 pesos. But you can get your annual fee waived if you have a good history of paying the full balance on time every month. And please don't hesitate to call your bank and ask. And we also have finance charges. So we have interest fee and the late fee. When we say late fee, it is the amount to be paid once you miss paying your credit card or at least the minimum amount due on its due date. The late fee charge ranges from 800 pesos to 1,500 pesos per missed payment. Just imagine how burden it is when you forget to pay your obligation. We also have the interest fee. The interest rate on a credit card is the fee you pay for late payments. Banks typically charge an interest rate of 2.57 to 3.5% every month. The higher the interest rate, the more you will pay. But just last November 2020, Banco Central ng Pilipinas mandates all 
banks to lower the interest rate to 2% per month. But still, that is 24% interest rate per year or around 19% effective annual interest. You can avoid paying interest if you pay your balance in full every month. We also have reward points. So some banks give you rewards for every amount you spend on your credit card. These can be shopping points that you can be used for purchase to purchase something. These can be mile rewards where you can fly for free or a cash buck where you where a portion of your purchases will be deposited to your bank account. For you to know how credit card works, please refer to the link that I posted in our lesson. Now, after knowing how credit card works, this time we are going to weigh the advantages and disadvantages of the credit card. Okay, so for the advantages, a credit card can be used as your emergency cash when you need it. You can also make large purchases now and pay it off in smaller chunks. You can build up your credit score, which can be useful later on. And it is also easier to pay your bills electronically. Your credit card statements makes your budgeting easier. And of course, credit card rewards program and cashback. And for its disadvantages, is a first the tendency to overspend versus using cash likely to buy more than you need especially when you go on shopping you know the impulse of shopping you miss payments can ruin your credit score late fees if you forget to pay and you, the tendency to pay high interest if you don't pay in full and credit card sometimes May be stolen and used without your consent. A piece of advice from Elizabeth Warren. My advice is to treat credit cards like what they are. Little plastic grenades that must be handled very carefully. Okay, now, will you avail a credit card? You can answer this question in our forum. Thank you for watching.